Hello. Just a tutorial today on how to remove airplane trails um, from a Star Trails photo. Sometimes you can do this when stacking with Sequitor, but if you already have the image done and it's already got the circles and you see them dotted trails going past, then this is the tutorial for you. Okay, so if you open the image in Photoshop, you want to basically use the quick mask tool. So you can either select it down here. In this case, I've got the mask there to appear in yellow. Or you can hit Q to select the option. Then you want to go to your brush, B. And we want the hardness, that's about right. We basically want the brush about four times the width of the trail. If you just select the cross, so better make sure my flow and opacity are 100%. So go back again. Okay, if we come out of quick mask or hit Q to turn it into marching ants, and then go edit. Feel content aware. You see that will um, get rid of it and it doesn't really disrupt the trails that much. There's the odd bit where the trail might bend but you can use liquify to straighten it. But I'll just do a couple more. So if we go Q again to enter quick mask, B for brush. And just go across this top one here. Hit Q to come out the mask to select the uh, marching ants. Edit, fill, content aware. See again, it does a pretty good job in putting the lines in. Now in the middle, there is some very slight bent trails, but you can either clone these in by using the clone stamp like that or you can push them about using the liquify tool but in this occasion I just use the clone stamp um, I'd say 90% of using just the quick mask and brush technique will get you there and then yeah 10% maybe a little bit of cloning but it's better than doing 100% cloning because that takes forever so this will say for this photo it'll probably take me five minutes rather than 30 using the clone brush Actually, I've just noticed one here, I'm just moving the mouse, if you see that's bent, if you go filter, liquify, you can use the push tool in liquify and just sort of push that straight. So, yeah, there's a couple of techniques there for you. Um, I'll just show you my final version, which was here. I've also applied a bit of saturation and what have you to it. So yeah, that probably took me, let's say 10 minutes. I actually edited it about 3.30 in the morning. I've just noticed actually there's a little one here I need to straighten still. But yeah, I mean, a couple of very slightly burnt, uh, bent trails or dotted lines all over the image. Even if you don't straighten them, I know what I'd rather have, so. All the best and um, yeah if you'd like to see some more tutorials or some of my time lapse content or photography content please subscribe i'm just adding the uh, photo at the end here as um, when looking back on the video it looked a little bit distorted because of the resolution of the video only 1080p including my webcam so this is what it actually looked like